Okay, so the anodizing machine has turned off. Uh, we can see that the anodizer on indicator light is no longer lit, meaning the anodizing process has stopped. And look, there is also no voltage or uh, amps. So we know that um, the anodizing process has uh, reached its time limit of one hour and 30 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn the machine off like that. And at this point, I uh, have selected my dyes. Um, for this case, I'm going to use black. And I'm also going to use uh, uh, violet. Okay, so at this point, uh, I want to take these parts out. Um, I'll need to get the Allen key to remove the parts, so I'll get those from this drawer. And I'll also need the, uh, the die stir stick. So before I put the parts in, I'm going to just give the dies a stir. Just like that. And I will stir this one. Now, because these are both dark colors, I'm not too concerned about uh, contamination of the dyes, but uh, if I was going to, uh, if I, I may be a little bit more worried about contamination with maybe something like yellow and, and black. So, um, we'll rinse this off later. And we'll take the Allen key over here and we will undo all of the parts. So, just needs to be loose. You don't need to take the, the screws out. Okay, so I'll put this back. I no longer need it. Put that back over there. And I'm going to take these out one at a time and uh, I'm going to uh, rinse them off in cold water. So before I take them out, maybe I'll get the cold water running. So that's cold. It has to be cold water. If you use hot water, the, uh, the uh, anodizing dye will not go into the material, the aluminum material, properly. So. Rinse that off. I'm just trying to get all of the uh, bath uh, solution off of the part. Okay, so I've decided that I want this to be a uh, a violet color. Okay, and I want the other top plate to be violet as well. So take this off. Now of course if you don't want to dye your parts and you want this sort of bright aluminum finish then you would just seal them uh, in the steam right away. So um, I have to be careful with these two parts. If I put them in together and they stick to one another. Oh, and you can see how nicely that's accepting the dye already. If they stick to one another, I'll get an imprint of one part on the other because the dye just didn't uh, come in contact with the part. So I'm putting those on opposite sides of the containers. Okay. And I'm going to uh, do Take, rinse these parts off as well. And uh, if I wanted to uh, uh, dye these different colors, I'd have to take them off of the uh, off of the T bar and uh, put them on uh, different hangers. So those are going to be black. Uh, and I would put on gloves. 
and I would uh, uh, take them off by hand, make sure those gloves are clean, and then put them on separate hangers before putting them in the die. So finally we have the, the flywheel. Take this one off. And I want this one to be black as well. Okay, so uh, black typically takes the longest um, for some reason. I think because it's a dark color, it would go quickly, but it actually takes the longest. And this violet looks to be about done, to be honest. So I'm going to just check this. Now if I put cold water on it, uh, I can put it in for longer in the dye if I want it to be darker. Um, but if I use hot water, uh, that is as dark as it will become. So I'm quite happy with this. And so I'm just going to put this in here momentarily and get the other one out because they're this one looks a little bit light, so I'm just going to keep that one in for a little bit longer. This one went right away. So interesting that there's some variation there in the color uh, given the same amount of time in the anodizer. Okay, so I'm plugging in the uh, the steam bath. Um, all I have to do is press the power button and then the flame button. And it, this is going to become, the water down here is going to become steam. Now if I just hang this one in here like this, the part will touch the water in the bottom. I only want about an inch of water or maybe even less on the bottom maybe uh, three quarters of an inch of water on the bottom so that my parts don't touch the uh, don't touch the uh, the water. We just want the steam to come in contact with the, the parts. So I'm going to select these uh, tightly uh, bent hangers. They're called the plate and flywheel hangers. And I'm going to just put that through one of the holes here, like this. And then I'm going to take this one off. See if I can do it with one hand. No, I don't think I can. So just rest that there and we'll just separate this and set that down there for now. So this plate is going to go into the steam bath, just like that. And I see that the plate is freely hanging in there and not uh, touching the side walls or touching the water down below. So let's check this one. This one needs a bit more time, but if I have the cold water running, I can rinse it, check the color, And if I want it darker, then I can uh, just put it in for longer. So this one uh, is somewhat lighter than the bottom plate, so I'll put it in for a little bit longer. Check the black. So the black uh, has gotten noticeably darker. We can also check those. Get most of the dye shaken off before we take it out. And so those are becoming a nice black color. Um, they may get a little bit darker after they're uh, sealed in the steam. Um, but if I leave it in here for longer, I can, I can see that one needs a bit more time. If I leave it in for longer, I can get them more dark. So uh, there's a couple of different hangers down here. We have 
the bearing support hanger. So that comes off the T-bar and goes on this. Uh, this portion right here, the flat portion on the bottom goes through the, the bearing support hole and this hangs uh, on here just like, like that with the bearing support on it. And these ones go nicely on the hubs. So you can use these hangers for the hubs. And of course these ones work very nicely for the flywheel and the, uh, the, the top and bottom plates. So just going back to this machine, I just want to make sure that the cover is put back on to reduce, uh, uh, to reduce evaporation and also uh, make sure no contaminants go into it and of course keep people from uh, putting their, their hands in the bath. Um, and this machine is now uh, stored uh, safely. Turn the water on, off, and we'll just continually checking the, check these parts to see how uh, dark they are and then we will steam them for uh, 30 minutes. So by pressing this hours and minutes, it's just going to set it for 30 minutes. And then you can walk away. Uh, that is the end of the class. Or the end of the, the process. All right. Well, that concludes the video on taking the parts out of the uh, anodizer, rinsing them off with cold water, and dyeing them the colors that you wish. And then finally sealing them with steam.